Hello, and welcome back to Amok Studios. This week I am working on some fun ear wires. I'm doing some little eye earrings, and I'm doing kind of a fun little ear wire on them with a little decorative post on it. So I thought this would be the perfect time to share some of my fun tools, shot plates. And I've got four of them here. And I've got two brands that I particularly like, so I will link those below in the description. But it's also a great way to get rid of some scraps that I know are sitting on your bench. Um, so let's use shot plates, melt some scrap, and make a fun decorative ear wire. I've chosen two of my melted balls that are of similar size and that when I place it over the shot looks like when I hit it will cover the entire design. Here's a close-up and I'm going to do the little star shape. And the person that makes these um, stamps also provides like a little rebar type piece to hammer down. But if you don't have this, you can just directly hit it with your hammer. But I like to put a little bit of tape over it just to hold it in place. And I'm going to solder my ear wire directly into the shot plate. So I'm going to take a center punch and put a little divot right there. That way I can solder the ear wire in there and have a really good connection rather than it being just soldered to the surface. So now I have just a little divot in there that I can solder the ear wire into. And should you ever have a piece of silver that gets stuck in the little shot plate, this is a good way to get it back out. Because you can usually hammer that right in there and then you have a little handle to pull it back out with. I'm going to use just a little bit of an easy paste solder and I can dip my ear wires right into the paste and then I'll solder it in there. I've squirted it a little bit off on a tray and I'm just going to put a little bit on there.
Before I form the ear wire into its final shape, I want to work hard in this. It's a little bit soft since we've soldered it. So I'm going to take one end in the pliers and then hold on to the shot in my other hand and I'm going to gently pull and twist at the same time. Just a couple of times to work hard in the wire. Now I'm going to take a small round nose plier and put it right up against the back of the shot plate. And I'm going to gently bend it up and this will be the little hook that the eye hangs from. Then I'll take a larger round nose plier and then just form that around and I kind of pull the two ends together a little bit and then while holding I'll come up about a quarter inch from the bottom with another plier and twist it out a little bit. Now I'm going to, with my planishing hammer, I'm going to give a few taps to the top of the ear wire and this will also work hard in it even more. Give it a little bit of spring. And then I like to do that as well at the end. And I kind of like to hit it a little bit harder right at the end to flare out that tail just a bit. <laughs> 